Camshafts, tension, everything is in. We're going to make sure, once again, that the cams rotate. Everything looks good there. O-rings in the oil pump. Want to make sure you have plenty of lube on it. We want lube on the O-ring here. We want lube on the case. O-rings are in place. Lube on the end of the crankshaft. Here's our new little tool, 9017. Helps you to align the flats of the oil pump gears with the flats of the crankshaft. Now rotate the pump around, everything feels good in there. Looks like they're uh, about horizontal. We're gonna slide this out. If the camera guy can get in there, you can see our flats. We're looking good. We're already starting to pump some oil or have some oil leak out. Should be a good match to the engine case. Plug, O-ring on the back of the pump, O-rings on the engine case, flats are lined up. Now we're ready to take our complete assembly and push it into the cam chest. You can use your thumb or use your finger to push on the oil pump to help pop that scavenge port into place. The reason we like doing this as a complete assembly on the bench and then putting it up into the cam chest is that means you're only going inwards towards the crankcase with the system. The other version, like the factory uh, used to tell you where you put the pump in first and then put the cam plate up and bolt it together inside the cam chest. What you end up doing is pulling the oil pump back out and you can sacrifice the seal on the back of the oil pump to the scavenge port case.